Okay, that's not supposed to be like that. Bitch. Okay, seriously. Like, why do you- why? Kevin! Kevin Abstract from Brockhampton has released an EP titled Arizona Baby, and now we're going to listen to it. Haven't heard from Kevin Abstract or any of Brockhampton since their last album, Iridescence. Sometime in 2018, it came out. I think it was September or something like that. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably a bigger fan of Kevin Abstract's solo work than I am of what Brockhampton's recently been releasing. Also heard he's going to be releasing a new EP every week for the next three weeks. So that's like 12 musics musics not songs not tracks musics somebody fucking just just take me out i'm ready to go without further ado brock kevin abstract arizona baby Let's hop into it and see and see what i like someone asked me what are my thoughts on kevin's abstract's new sing uh, i'm listening to it right now stop asking me about my personal life you bitch ass and oh that's cute it's not on apple music that's 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 adorable seems like it's a nine minute ep so uh let's go with georgia it's not even connected to the bluetooth yeah i need to go please don't tell you my ipad's connected to it Oh man. I don't really know what to say. I think I, I think I get it. I don't know. I'm feeling the song. I, I like that it it, it does have a, a bit of nostalgia to it, in the sense that it like references Ray Charles and that it. I don't know, maybe as a callback to Kevin at the same time saying that things are uh, okay now, even though he has his hometown or his earlier years on his mind. It calls back to a time where he was afraid to express his emotions because it would also expose his sexuality. So I kind of I kind of get the song. It is a little jarring musically, uh, so I don't know. I got to get used to it. Next track is Joyride. I don't mind how he's using the auto tune though. It's almost like his voice is an extension of the horn. Oh yeah, I like that. He's flowing. Oh my god, yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> that right there is that's hot. It's giving me some Andre 3000 vibes a bit too. I could picture the title of the song by what's going on here sonically though. Because it really does feel like I'm being taken on a joyride and just like no other issues. All I need is Kevin. And we're just driving and the final track on this ep is called big wheels that is kind of funny big wheels comes after joyride that's kind of funny is this ep like a like a like a joyride from arizona like am i not onto something here georgia you're talking about your hometown then you meet a guy you have a joyride and then you're on some big wheels right huh no all right oh my god that snare and that hi hat is all this needs. And that fucking fucking synth right there too. This is perfect. If your mom, if I catch your mom at Sonic, can I get a free ice cream? Oh my god, I like. I don't know how deeply he wants to go with that line, but out of everything that's been happening recently it's he's aware of how little love you get in your own town your own city he said that they he thinks those people that are from his hometown think that he's queer bait and think they don't have love for him and they're from the same city they're from the same town but they don't want to see him winning in light of everything that's been going on with rappers getting killed in their own city and and people hating on you from your own hometown i think it's great that he acknowledges that it's rising up God. Oh my God! All of it, all of it, all of it just came together. It's probably one of the better songs I think Kevin's written because, like, he goes into a lot of regrets talking about how he, you know, wishes he didn't or he thinks he got rich too fast. Um, and if I can, you know, describe that in any way, I would assume that he's talking about his label. 
you know, because that is one thing that I didn't expect Brockhampton to do. I won't say so soon because they had been making music for a while, but it did seem that they got that deal after they got all that traction from the saturation series. And then immediately, like, you know, they got signed right after they had that really big year in 2017. Uh, so I, I'm not going to say it was like a bad move, but you know, that 15 million or that 20 million, I think they got, however much it was, it, it goes for so long, especially when there's so many members of the group. And then it's like, he says his mom still works at Sonic. Like he didn't make enough to, financially secure them and i think that like carries a bunch of anxiety it carries a bunch of weight it carries a bunch of mixed emotions like should i keep working as hard doing this or should i you know kind of deviate from this but now i'm also in this legal agreement it's tough that's tough that's tough though that's good man that's good i like the way i like how you just slid it in there like it didn't mean anything but in context of the song and how you know sonically jarring this song is when we get to the second half of it and it's like he dips himself into a a pool of emotions as all these instruments start to come together it's like he's being separated he's being pulled apart by everything and all the stresses are getting to him i really like that fucking song big wheels is great the I'm snare and the hi-hats just build I'm this fucking chasing. intensity oh, so God, perfectly I'm right here it builds up the anxiety the pressure that is hard i don't care what nobody says that's hard I like this warped ass sax plan. So EP wise, I thought this was a pretty cool listen. Um, not gonna give it a score. It's just the EP. I'm definitely gonna wait until all the others are released to kind of make it like a twelve. Some some fan I'm sure will make it like a twelve track album, but it's three separate or four separate EPs that are coming out within the next three weeks. But I really uh, I, I could fuck with this, especially subject matter wise, because when we get we're, when when we're getting into that content that goes into like the regret of success in the fear of going forward despite that there have been like no guarantees and you're in a contract and you have mouths to feed and you're trying to do your thing at the same time i get like that's 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 tough man it really is that anxiety is no joke but uh yeah i really enjoyed this it's almost like if we start from the beginning on georgia we get like this is his origin even though it's not georgia specifically uh, he's referencing Ray Charles, but if we go to that song, he's referencing his hometown. Then we go to the next song. It's like a joy ride from that town. Then on big wheels, it's like, I got rich way too fast. We go from his hometown to him taking a ride from his hometown to getting rich quick. And now he regrets it. Now he feels off. Now he feels anxious about it. I just like that. I do. That whole thing to me just makes sense. Even though the first song wasn't hitting me like that. Uh, the whole thing now right here just contextually is hitting me differently. But that's all I got to say about it. Kevin Abstract, uh, Arizona Baby, first EP. Enjoyed it. Listen to it. Try it yourself. I'll see you next time. I'm out. Bye.